All right, this page is a little tight, so I apologize, but you're going to just have to bear with me. So we are looking at two different graphs, and what information is shown in these two? Well, they both show the same thing, carbon emissions by country. So there's the answer for the first one. You'll see it's the same thing. The only thing is the top one is a pie graph, right? We're talking circles, and the bottom one is a bar graph. So how are they similar? It's the same info. They're both talking about percentages for each country. It, it's the same exact information. It's just depicted in a different way. One's in a circle, one's in bars. Now let's get to some math. Number three, if the total CO2 production for 2014 was 79 trillion pounds, how many pounds were produced in the U.S.? Well, the U.S. was 15% of that. So we're talking 15% of 79 trillion. Well, if I change that percent to a decimal, of means to multiply, and we multiply by 79, I end up with 11.85 trillion pounds produced by the U.S. based off of that data. That's a lot. Trillion is a lot. Number four, compare Japan's CO2 production to that of the U.S. in a meaningful sentence. Well, first we need to find the, J J the Japanese production. So we know the U.S. is 11.85, so let's find Japan in a similar way. Japan is 4%. So 4% of 79 gives me 3.16 trillion. So that's Japan. So now if I want to calculate the difference so I can make a meaningful sentence, I'll take the U.S., minus Japan, and I get 8.69 trillion is the difference. So whether you say, uh, well, here, here's, I pause myself at some time. So my meaningful sentence is the U.S. produces 8.69 trillion pounds of CO2 more than Japan. Or you could have said Japan produces 8.69 trillion pounds less of CO2 than the U.S. Either way is the same thing. So pros and cons of using these graphs, and, and when would, would you use one versus the other? Well, let's, let's go back to the two graphs and just talk about this. I'm not going to really write anything for this, but I'm going to just talk about it. So when you're looking at these two graphs, um, I think it's easier to compare if you're looking at the bar graph. It's easier to say, man, China and other are really, really a, a lot more than everybody else. And yeah, you can see that they're bigger in the pie graph, but the bars just really show how much bigger. So I think the comparison is easier there. However, if you're looking at the pie graph, the pie graph shows part to whole. So when you're looking at the pie graph, it's a lot easier to see, you know, how big the U.S. is in comparison to everybody else. Whereas if you're, you can compare one to one, in the bar graph, but you can compare part to whole in the pie graph. So I think that's the biggest piece there. Um, of course, there's a lot of other answers for that one. So it really is depending on what you see in those graphs.